uh, how quickly it arrives in uh, early December. So um, uh, go up against a, a very, very good Maryland team. Uh, Kevin's doing an outstanding job in his first year. He's really established uh, uh, with a veteran front line uh, an identity very quickly with that group. Uh, they're playing extremely hard. Uh, they're extremely good on the offensive glass. Uh, they play with, with pace, and yet they're uh, mixing up defenses, uh, you know, full court man, uh, playing some matchup zone. Uh, it's a team that is, um, Dante Scott's having a, um, a fantastic start to his, his season. Uh, Reese is much, much improved in the middle. He's kind of changed his body. He's not that little uh, frail, skinny kid that he was as a freshman. Uh, Akeem Hart is a guy that uh, six seven that's uh, uh, plays on the perimeter, and they've added two veteran transfer guards who have um, fit in quite nicely. So, uh, again, an undefeated team, a team that uh, I think can compete for um, you know top spot in this league, and and uh, they've shown that early. Is there any element of expect the unexpected because first year coach and there's less history there? No, we've got a lot of Kevin Willard film and. T.A. was in the same league with him at Seton Hall, and he's, he's, he's taking the same game plan. Uh, it's just a veteran team. It's an old team, and, and in terms of having some, some, some guys who can score, and, and Dante and, and Akeem Hard, and, and then Reese has been, uh, and then just giving them his footprint and uh, what they're doing on the defensive side. So they've been very effective thus far, and, and uh, you know, they shoot it well enough. Uh, you know, we've got you know, Georgetown's leading scorers, and and, and great shooter from uh, in the portal. Uh, so again, this is a very balanced team and, uh, and a very effective team, and as all of Kevin's teams are. It seems like they haven't had to ask you this much because you've been so experienced. The first true road game for your four year guys are freshmen. Now, how do you prepare them for that? It's obviously five, freshmen. five freshmen. I'm still counting Dane as a freshman. Um, yeah, I you know today's going to be a pretty animated practice. Uh, we'll pump a lot of crowd noise in here. We'll pump a lot of music in here. Uh, we've got to get them excited. We've got to get them uh, dealing with some adversity. Uh, we try that. Uh, we do that a lot. Um, you know, we've got to we've got to play better. We've got to play harder. We've got to play tougher. Um, you know, it's it's huge momentum swings happen uh, in true road games, and uh, you know we've got to uh, we got to withstand those and, and try to prevent those. How sincere feeling after the game on Tuesday? Good, Tuesday. good. He was good in practice yesterday. Thanks for your defense. Can you kind of switch over? You're playing a team with front court size. How do you kind of prepare them to kind of maybe get through those stretches you might have kind of regarding the physical? I think we've got one of the, I think we're in 95th or 96th percentile in post defense at this point. It's not the first team we've seen with, um, you know, with size. Virginia was quite big and. Gardner's been um, outstanding for them as a as a big power forward, very similar to uh, Dante Scott. Um, you know, Syracuse is long and lanky, and we got to do a better job on on blocking out uh, when we get into those switches, and we got to do a better job of uh, of gang rebounding. You know, we can't. Uh, we got to understand sometimes Coleman's going to be on point guard, and he's going to be out on the floor. Uh, he's got to come back in and rebound, and. Uh, uh, Matt and, and RJ and Terrence, those, those guys have to go snatch rebounds for us. And uh, we got to continue to grow in that area. Nine rebounds and eight the last two games for Matt. How have you seen him kind of be more aggressive on the glass in that area? Yeah, he stepped up to the challenge. He's really, you know, he's been very conscientious. He's always been a good rebounder in his career. Uh, he's not afraid to go stick his nose in there. He's not afraid to uh, to have contact. He, he, he does a great job of finding uh, lanes to go um, and then he's uh, you know he's got great hands he's got really strong hands and when he gets his hands on it it's his you feel like his conditioning's come along is that a yeah. part of him having yeah. more energy a lot a lot and you know, with that more minutes and uh, you know we're gonna come we're gonna lean on him he, he, he like I said he makes winning plays all the time he knows how what it takes to win um, but now his conditioning's getting out there he's he's a guy that uh, uh, we've got to lean on here as we get into league play. Even with the first half foul trouble <clears throat> on Tuesday, how important was it for RJ to maybe follow up you know, that better effort, better game uh, against Lindenwood with kind of some of the same? Yeah, it's huge. You know, and RJ's a good player and and a, a guy that we're counting on. And 
Um, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's very easy to, to get lost mentally when you're in foul trouble when you play a couple of minutes in the first half. And um, like I said, I tried to throw him back out there. I didn't want him to get super stiff and, and kind of out of the game mentally, but he, he, he stayed dialed in, he got going. Um, you know, he got to the foul line. He was, he was, he was chasing balls on the glass. Uh, so those are things that uh, uh, he's got to do to help us. I was glad to see him. He's been able to do that back-to-back -back games. When you were able to look at the film and the chart of shots offensively, you said you liked it in real time. Did you like it? Oh, you know, we, after? Terrence took one bad three yeah. in transition. And, you know, someone who wants to play his zone will shoot 43s. I'm good with it. Uh, we're, we, we shot it about as bad as we could shoot it. And... Um, and missed opportunities, and like I said, you know, I'm not an excuse maker, but you know, we've been sick. We had guys not in practice. Um, we were a little out of rhythm, but I thought we handled seven turnovers against the zone. Uh, Coleman was dialed in. I thought Ty Rogers was ex exquisite in the middle. Uh, we just made Matt. We just made great decisions and, and got good shots. And I'm never going to tell guys not to take shots. Um, you know, and uh, you know there was enough balance of getting the ball in the interior. Uh, Coleman's little float game, uh, Ty's little float game are all really good, and uh, we were able to uh, uh, make enough of them. decision making against series because it was a season turnovers. We passed. You know, that's one thing about the zone. Uh, we're an exceptional passing team. And, uh, you know, our, it's like I told our team, I said, you know, you, you see the zone, it forces you to pass and not over dribble. And, uh, you know, we're going to see something completely different in Maryland. You know, Maryland's going to crawl in your shirt and you're going to have to, uh, you know, handle it, be aggressive. That zone forces you to pass the ball and move it. And, and I think it was on display of how good a passing team that we are. Uh, we made the extra pass. Like I said, it was a night the, 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 the ball didn't go in, but, you know, I hope our team get, learns that moving the ball through the pass is, is pretty effective and, and it doesn't always have to be a dribble drive. So how, did, you know, how did Sky sort of absorb or respond to 0 for 10? Well, I cut him off. He didn't have, he didn't have a meal last night. Um, I'm not giving him pregame uh, you know, meal on this trip, meal money on this trip. He's going to starve. Uh, <laughs> he was fine. I, you know, I told him, I said, the great thing about, you know, going 0 for 10 is you got to have the mentality you're going to make the next 10 and then you're 50 percent. I said, the only thing that I'm going to get mad about is you quit shooting. And, you know, here's a guy who was 50 percent from the three, 90 percent from two coming in. Um, but the great thing is it didn't affect him. He's diving on the floor for loose balls. He's sharing it. He's running our team. Um, that's that takes a lot of maturity. And. Um, you know, he was, he was, he handled it in a great way. And he and I had a little fun yesterday uh, talking about it. But, you know, that's, that's a freshman and you got to grow up and, and you can't let one turn to two. It's early, but your block rate is way higher. Your two point defense is top 10. Do that without a seven footer. How has that played out? What have you seen out of your team so far to defend inside the arc? Yeah, you know, I think it, it, it's a combination of both. It's not just inside it, I think it's outside it. I think, you know, like I thought we, we stunted. Syracuse's guards, you know, I, I thought we, we did a good job of stinging it with our switches, forces them a little further out on the floor, so those become longer passes, um, you know, to the to the post. Uh, I think we're getting to the ball. I think you see our length and our athleticism has been in play a little more than uh, maybe we've had in the past. Um, but um, you know, it's uh, it, it's all been positive. We got to go on the road. We got to make sure we don't give up. Uh, big runs. We got to make sure we don't give up threes. It's one of the things that we've tried very hard to be consistent with in the past. Is you know, threes become huge momentum plays at home. Uh, we got to make sure we're, we're we're dialed into that and know where their shooters are and and then force hard twos and try to clean it up. We talked about Matt just <clears throat> adjusting to a new system after four years. Uh, is there, he looks more comfortable. It's kind of these games goes. Anything you guys did to help him? Settle in, or is it just a progression of? Yeah, it's a simple progression. You know, I think he's, you know, you, you, you know, it's probably obvious I'm a little different than Scott, you know, in some ways, and, and, and you get accustomed to that. You get comfortable, and, um, 
Matt's an unbelievable kid, and 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 I say kid, he's a guy. He's not a kid, but uh, he's got great spirit about him. He's very intelligent. Um, I love being around him. It's just the progress of and process of getting to know us, getting to know what what we're about. You know, we do shoot arounds different. We do terminology different. We got different attacks on against this or that, and, and uh, you know, so his his role is had been pretty established there and now it's it's different so uh, I'm ecstatic with what he's doing and how he's progressed. You feel good about you know, throwing multiple bodies at Scott? The last few years, God bless his heart, it seemed like DeMonte was trying to overcome four inches high, 20 pounds difference and it seems like you guys can throw more guys at him this year. Yeah, and I mean he's having a great year. They're backing him into a lot of post-ups. Yeah. Um, you know, he's playing on the perimeter, he's shooting threes. Um, I think he had a huge first half here last year um, and again you know we've had smaller wings it's been a you know he's been a, a, a problem and he's a very very good player he's a great competitor um, you know we'll see what it looks like this year but yeah we've got to throw different opportunities and, and different guys obviously with with our switching it's no secret that uh, you know we'll have guards on him at times and and how we how we handle that will be uh, a big part of the outcome of the game we know last old oven kind of popped with the speakers. How does this compare? Does no, compare? we got we got a whole new sound system, so we can we can break the glass if we uh, <laughs> if we need to break the glass. I think the the thing is is whether I'm in a country mood, a hard rock mood, or a rap mood, and uh, we may have to go combination of all three today, just so that uh, I can create a certain level of, of, of annoyance. I may have to throw a little uh, little country on just to. Uh, uh, annoy the fellows and get under their skin a little bit like <laughs> like it'll happen on the road. How tough is Maryland when that place is full? Yeah, it's great. It's a great environment. I, I, I've said this many times. It's uh, a nine o'clock game on a Friday night. Uh, I, I would expect there to be um, uh, a, a pretty good level of, uh, of, of fuel that's been on the intake from the student body and, and, and that student section on the end is uh, is is very daunting and it's a it's a tough place to play again you're talking about one of the most historic programs in in college basketball and uh, many of those years in the acc uh but uh you know mark's done a great job there for for many many years and that team's been very successful and and, and kevin has uh, you know taken over a great program and put his footprint on it and, and they're doing great so i would expect a a, a raucous environment tomorrow night at nine o'clock Thank you.